<laughs> Robin. Are we brothers or something? Oh, what happened there? Oh, my I'm, God. I don't know. It, like, every time I talk to Florentine, I saw him at the Patrice Benefit. We're, like, very similar, man. Are you, are you, are you what, wearing the same shit today? Kind of. I know. I got a Kind of the same here, style. So I don't, yeah, now I'm going to have another kid because of you. Oh, man. Are you really? Really? No, I'm not, oh. I'm <laughs> oh, I thought you were announcing <laughs> no, something. Wait, here. I talked you into another kid? No, well, you're what, saying are you nuts? Like, we're like, we're, you know, like yeah. each other. No, I'm loving it. But someone said, uh, you guys look like you could be related. It's the it's just, same fucking shirt. <laughs> it, this happens well, a lot when we get together and talk. We have we can relate to each other on some weird it's level. Blue and, plaid. Nah, but it's blue and white plaid, buttoned up to the top. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> Opie has no button. But this is like a still. flannel. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Opie's probably expensive. Yeah, that's I got more this of a dress navy. shirt. No, I don't know where this was. Uh... Maybe the new Navy you got yours from. <laughs> Fucking go to break on that one. Whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I, I was in, in North Carolina. I, in, in, of course, in Charlotte, they're talking about the fucking Florentine when I get The legend? There. Yeah, and it's always uh, it's always interesting. And uh, he, they tell me at the news station, you cut a gas. Where Did you fall when you were on the air? No, it was a local TV news that we had to do in the morning. This was like three oh, weeks no. ago. Three weeks oh, ago. no. And they remember it. Yeah, they remember it because it was right when they were, you know, they went into the segment. And oh, we were, man. And I was standing right by the camera guys there, and I just let one go, and everybody, even the cameramen turned around. <laughs> which probably fucked up their shots because they had to go to a two shot or a long shot. And the people on the, even the, the, the hosts on the couch like, looked around like, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, Never not funny. It's never right, not, never funny not funny is right. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be weird. You guys follow each other in and out of these cities, huh? Yeah, it's always funny when I'm coming. There's always like him. some kind of story, you yeah. know, they relate to you when you come into town. I like it though because it's something to talk. You know, I, we have such a history together that it's always something to talk about. It's like a good jumping off place to talk yeah. about Florentine because you know that's, we know each other so well. That's great. You I told it? the club owner, I said, "Please, Jim's coming here in three weeks. Please tell him that story." Nice. That's what I kept, and I even texted him like a week ago. I remember to tell Jim that story. He, to it, it's right, he told me that on the way from <laughs> the airport to the hotel. That's right. Like, yeah, Florentine. Uh, before, like, almost before he forgot. <laughs> Make sure he told me. So Always second good. kid, maybe? No. Oh, I thought you said I talked into it. No, I'm just saying you said we we're alike. So oh, next thing I know oh, now. Oh, I'm okay, to... yeah. Well, second kid, you know, that's <clears throat> a lot more work. You think you have a lot of work now? Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons now. <laughs> one of the reasons. Couldn't imagine. I no just can't way. even imagine. Can't fathom any of that. I mean, you know, I I know a lot of people that have kids, and that's fine and dandy. You know, bring them over the house. It's fine. I I don't. I'm not. I'm not like get that kid out of here. But I couldn't imagine having to be responsible for something. Oh, God, or, or not being able to do something. Or not just being able to sleep. Like, if I'm on the couch and I'm just like, uh, you know what? I'm just going to crap out for three hours. Boom. And not have to worry that some little fucking life form is going to stick a tweezer oh, in the God. socket some of the, or something, you know? I know. My, my son just stuck a tic-tac in my ear yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> good. I almost got to, had to go to the emergency room. Jesus. My wife had to take it out. Yeah, with tweezers. I was just laying there, and he was messing around my ear. Oh. And he dropped one in there, and it went <laughs> way in the back. I'm trying to pull it out. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. How old's your kid? Two and a half. Yeah, we're right around the same age, our, our uh, sons. They, they're They're dangerous. Right? Yeah. I'm worried about getting a broken nose or a, oh, yeah, or, a, or, a con or a concussion you, man, or is, get knocked out by this thing. It is cool. Like that, there's moments where like you know he'll just hang me on the couch like your buddy. Yeah. Those are great moments. But there's a lot. It's almost like dating like a fucking drama queen, <laughs> <laughs> like a, a complete disaster. You she's can't a, she's amazing in bed. She right, brings yeah, yeah. chicks home. You know, you have threesomes. The fu the fucking for like an hour and a half is unbelievable, <laughs> out of control. But the you know, then pretty much the rest of the day is a disaster. You're just cleaning up messes all day long. There's no reasoning or anything. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I lost my 65 inch TV. He played t-ball in the living room. And I just gave up. I gave up last week because the whole family's been sick. The audience is sick of this story, but I gotta just tell you real fast part of it. The whole family's sick at the same time, so I just let my guard down and said, "Do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm so sick." So he set up his tee ball in the living room and uh, line drived it right into my 65 inch <laughs> TV. With that wood, was it the yellow wooden ball with a smiley face on it? Yeah, that somebody some, uh, tweeted. Some chick tweeted. She goes, "Is this the ball?" Because I kind of described it on the air. 
But you didn't describe it that much. No, she knew I didn't. It's exactly. the exact fucking ball that he, he put on the tee. A tiny little, it's it's a little bigger than maybe a golf ball, but it's hard as shit. With a with a jingly thing inside. It's probably our housekeeper. She's probably the one that called in with it. Like, was oh, that the one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now I got to get a fuck. And that TV I just got. And I don't. Th- I, I we talked about it Friday. I don't think you can fix these new new fucking flat screens like that. Just no. you get a I don't new think one. You, can. you gotta hang them high, man, so he doesn't hit I'm it going, up that high. And uh, I started and thinking, he does a fucking pop fly. And, well, I'm starting to think it was a little too low because he started dragging his toys against it and stuff. A line shot up the middle. That one right into the screen. Right. That's gonna cost Opie. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Have you lost anything yet? No, not really. Nothing valuable wow. yet. You call me when I it happens. I shit. I know, man. I'm I'm two steps ahead of them all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's like I can fucking. I should be out. I should be able to outsmart a two and a half year old. <laughs> I should. You think? I do, and you I think. fucking know every move he's gonna make. I go, don't fucking put this here because he's gonna grab my phone if it's on the edge. So you stick it in the middle. Right. I got him. I got him. I'm one step ahead of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gotta be. Holy my wife, shit. not so much. She still leaves her shit laying around. I'm like, you're crazy. Every time. My I laptop, put- my phone, everything is just like Jimmy. Uh, Jim saying now. But he gets up on the tall tables now, so now I'm going even higher. My shit is way up in cupboards and stuff. That's you what my ex would it. do with candy. Because my ex was 5'9", and I'm a little shorter. I literally just found... We broke up a year and a half ago. I just found candy on the top shelf that she used to hide from me. So wow. she treats you like a little kid? It was fucking oh, humiliating. <laughs> I fucking... I, I had to get up and get something out of there, and I realized oh. she had hidden candy. Like, she hid it from you, or she... <laughs> from me, yeah. Because she knew that I would eat it if I saw it. Like, and she wanted I was trying candy. not to. So she wanted candy, and she hid it on the top shelf. <laughs> that's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Jimmy, that's <laughs> great. Like, Where I am. That's great. Did you eat it? When you found it? No, but there was some bubble gum I ate. I, the candy I threw out, but the bubble yeah. gum I ate. There was some like, really good sugary yeah. bubble gum. Very, uh, very happy Florentine's uh, here. And one of the reasons Jim is here, besides the fact we haven't seen you in a while, is the, uh, that David Lee Roth's coming in. So we figured you'd help us out with that. Yeah. I, I talked to David Lee Roth years ago on the phone. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what kind of guy go? he is anymore. It was like a, just a normal, you know, kind of rock interview. He back. seems like a fun guy. Oh, he totally is. He seems like he's into partying. That's his whole like. I you feel, know. I mean, we have some weird history because we, you know, we both worked for the same company. He knows how radio goes. Well, I used to run into his manager. I ran into his manager at the at Allman's Brothers show. And Managers are never a reflection of the personality. I hope not, because this guy sure. knew exactly, you know, the history between us and David Lee yeah, Roth. Yeah, he not- was pissed because that's money came out of his fucking pocket. David Lee Roth is like, I don't care. I still got Van Halen money coming in. Yeah, we took over for David Lee Roth. I mean, we never had an actual issue with him. No, right? they fired him and hired us. Who the fuck are we to say right, no? He only lasted like four months, yeah. right? And they got, yeah. What are we going to say? Uh, no, we don't want to take the job because we don't want to uh, make it seem like David Lee Roth wasn't doing a, a good job on the radio. Right. I'd like to go into K-Rock and uh, do a radio show, but nah. We did There's all no right. loyalties in fucking this dumbass business. We did all right. For sure. They just couldn't figure that out because we were... They, no. they desperately wanted us out of our XM contract to, to you know... Yeah. To do full speed ahead for K-Rock. Full time, yeah. But God, they could only get a piece them. of us, so it was a weird fucking... Yeah. That was a weird deal. And yeah. imagine if we had gotten out of the XM contract, we would have been on there, and they would have, and if they would have fucking something would have happened, or the show oh, would yeah. not still be on. No, radio. probably not. Absolutely <clears throat> not. But fucking, they terrible. wanted us badly, and they had to work around that XM contract, which meant, man, very long days, and we had to split our time. And, and those shitheads, and, they wanted a different producer for the K Rock show than the XM show. It was, they were so territorial, those yeah, yeah. fuckheads. It was they didn't want us in the same studio, in one studio for both the uh, shows. I, I still, them. I still tell people we did all right, considering. I liked that walkover right. thing. That was the walkover was a lot of fun. Yeah, man. there yeah. were a few of them that are classics, man. Yeah. And then a few that were just a pain in the ass walk in the freezing fucking cold. <laughs> we're supposed to be like talking. It's like I got nothing to say. I'm yeah. just gonna run and go to the studio. This sucks. <laughs> well, more unusual fucking deals in radio. Some of the, the really strange. We couldn't even. We weren't even allowed to do the show from one place. No. Because oh. both companies were so territorial. Yep. And I'm, it's like, do you understand that you guys are both showing your big dicks and we're the ones that suffer in the Yeah, end? we're in the Cause, middle. Because I was yelling and screaming at the time, going, you guys got to get together. They don't want to talk to each other and figure this shit out. There's no way we should stop the momentum so we can walk to another studio yeah, it's useless. to continue the show. It was ridiculous. Should have done the whole show from the XM studio. Yeah, yeah whatever. Nice uh, and, big, know, but... and then send somebody over. You got a guy, yeah. you send them over. Yeah. You want a guy to look out they for They just stuff. didn't want to hey. hear it. 
they didn't no. want to hear it. That's so, fucking uh, every time. Every time we do the walk over, and Jimmy would go to the newsstand and ask the guy for a honcho magazine. Oh yeah, yeah copy a honcho, one guy. and the guy's just like, yes, yeah, smiling, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> uncut black inches. So black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. Black inches. Black inches, right? <laughs> well, supposedly that was Dave's problem with K Rock back then, because he wanted to do the show from different places. He was uh-huh. always traveling. He said, "Let me go to Vegas, and yeah, you know, I'm hanging with these bands. I'll do That'd the show smart. right from there, from a studio." Sure. I'm all over the place, and they were like, "No, you have to do it from this studio in New York." Yeah. They were obsessed at with six a.m. every day. Yeah, that uh, doesn't make any sense. Well, Why? that's what happened to regular radio. They couldn't yeah. think out of the box anymore. You know, whatever. Yeah, no, they were so it'll be good to see David Lee Roth. I've never met him in in person. So. He used to hang out at the comedy cell all the time, yeah. watch the comics. Yeah, I met him years ago. I got a picture with me. Did I ever show you my picture with fucking Roth? No, uh, I'm sure you have it. Yeah, I have one of them with Dave too. I met one. And, yeah, yeah. I didn't get any at the comedy cell because he was just hanging. So I didn't want to bother him. But I. And, oh, yeah. and Van Halen is back together again, right? They took that yeah. time off, but they're in Europe or something. They're I saw some, some dates shows in, in Europe? Australia. Australia was it? Oh, How crazy does he look? Hey, <laughs> he's fucking nuts. <laughs> Um, and they're doing one. He's they're doing one in the states so far this, in the summer in like yeah. Wisconsin, some big rock. What band, happened so. with the band? It was a little sketchy and shady when they uh, canceled all those shows. Well, because they probably you know it was ticket sales because they already mm-hmm. did a whole tour like eight months and they were going back to the markets basically oh, right were. after that and the tickets were pretty high. Mm-hmm. So, so I think it was probably a little soft. So they said let's just put it off for a little while. And then Eddie got sick. Eddie got this uh, stomach problem. Is he all right? Yeah, he has to rest for like six to eight months. Supposedly wow. he's better now. Yeah, uh, what, it begins with a D. Oh, uh, this, yeah. Oh, that shit is a that, huh? Yeah, so he so he was laid up pretty much for like they said six to eight months before he could start. What is that? Again. Like a folded intestine or something? It's got some. I think it's a perforated piece of your intestine, which yeah. Brock Lesnar had. And oh. it, depending on level of seriousness, they have to take some out and give you a shit bag or. Can you just, uh, you know, eat leafy food and stuff like that, and 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 heal it a certain way? Like Doctor Steve would know, obviously. Oh, yeah, it's diverticulitis. But do you eat that from oh, too much nuts or like too many? I eat a lot of fucking uh, almonds, which is bad. Yeah, that's really bad. It's what if the nuts are just across the bridge of your nose? Well, then you're just a good boy. <laughs> 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 you know, um, yeah, diverticulitis. That's what he had. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Okay. Yeah, that's a fucking nasty one. Takes people out for a while. Yeah, I can fuck Jesus, you up good. Maybe that's what the queen had. And she was fucking. She had the shits. Those old queen shits must huh. have been horrible. You think she, you can handle an old queen fart? Uh, an old queen. Yeah, yeah. If you can have if you can have Norton's farts, you can handle know, anybody. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I've God, had some fucking the goals. queen mum. The muh. She's there muh. just fucking. Just runny shit in that <laughs> bed in the royal the royal bedpan. <laughs> Fucking bitch never smiles. No, she's got the life and never Terrible. smiles. She has a rotten old twat, isn't she? I think so. The no personality, rotten old twat. Yeah, she's yeah but those in Brits are always cranky. They're known yeah. to be any Br- any British uh, rock rock guy. They're all just miserable and they're cranky. They need a few belts in them before they, <laughs> they, yeah, they do really before are. they warm up. <laughs> yeah, and they start smiling. <laughs> They're all like that. They go to the pub about. at five o'clock. You know, five oh five. They're fucking pounding beers. Yeah. If they don't have their beers in them, they're miserable. You get drunks. <laughs> that's yeah. Hilarious. What's no one hell? works overtime in in England. They just they work nine to five. That's right it. to the bar. Only in America we work like eleven o'clock. And they go right to the bar. Right to the pub. Right to the yeah. pub, and then they go home at ten o'clock and pass out. Yeah. Go do it again the next day. Jesus. Unbelievable. <laughs> the stupid um, soda ban goes into effect tomorrow. Did that's you hear, that, you hear uh, about the yeah. coffee shit, Jimmy? This no. is we did this unbelievable. Whole thing Friday. You know, everyone was talking about, uh, you know, the sugary drink ban, what they're banning, the big sodas and all that. And then it comes out, <clears throat> which it didn't come out this way when this was first presented no, to no the public. No, no one talked about coffee. It was all about the big, actually, all you thought it was is the big two-liter bottles of soda you weren't going to be able to buy anymore. No, the and then cups. It, cups. And then it turned out that, yeah, it was the cups. And then it turns out... It's it's everything with sugar in it. Everything. So it's affected all the coffee drinkers. Dunkin' Donuts will no longer put sugar in your coffee. You have to do it yourself. Starbucks is only allowed to put four packets of sugar in every drink. So all their sugary fucking coffee drinks, they can only make it, make it in part small. way. And they can make smalls and do it. 
But then you got to pump your own flavored syrup. But Starbucks has got to figure it out. They might have it where you pump your own syrups and all that shit now. It's a, it, it's this, it's disgusting what yeah. this mayor's doing. Yeah, he's a fucking cunt. We talked about it before the show. I mean, the amount of people that this is going to actually help is so minuscule, it's unbelievable. But yeah. everyone has to be affected. How about you just fucking people make their own decisions? And again, right. if you want to go affected. after obesity, right. target the insurance. If you weigh this much or if your body mass is this much, we will not cover you. Oh, and then there's discrimination. That's how you do it, though. Oh. I know. The that's how they should, but they'll right. never do it that they'll way. They'll never absolutely. do it that The way. people that are going to drink themselves to death with... Uh, all that soda, most of those people will never change their ways. You might get a, a tiny percentage of those people, you know, living a healthier lifestyle, but the the amount of people that have to suffer because of that, it's just it's just it's just disgusting. Wait, but a, like a, a large latte at Starbucks puts like five or six pumps of syrup in there. Sugar syrup, syrup in there. right? So how, what are they going to do now? Like, a, you they're know. trying to figure it out. But I thought it was only over 16 ounces, though. Any cup that's over. Yeah, it they is. have a 20 ounce at Starbucks that they probably won't be able to sell anymore. Probably, but at 16, they yeah. can't put their own. Yeah, the venties and all that shit. Yeah, then you gotta you gotta do it yourself. And it's, why it's, would you have to? Well, I didn't know it was a sugar ban. To yeah, sort of, yeah. The, no one did. No this one came really out did. Of left field. No one really did. Also, they snuck it in like oh, one yeah. of those things. like they always do. They sneak that shit in, yeah. and now. You know, first of all, the Dunkin' Donuts thing's ridiculous because you could buy a dozen donuts, shove them all down your face, but they can't sell you a coffee with four teaspoons of sugar in it. Right. He shouldn't even be the mayor. No! It was a two-time, this fucking cocksucker did some backdoor stuff, got things approved, and got himself elected yes. a third time. There's a, a woman. Sickening. There's a woman that just threw her, her fucking big lesbian hat into the uh, ring. Who, Quinn? For, uh, what? Christine Is that Quinn? her? Christine Quinn, she... Well, you can't just call her a lesbian. She ha- no, I think, I think she is. Oh, she, well, make sure you get the, nine, the <laughs> name right. She fucking had a little uh, statement yesterday that I heard on the news. Could be the worst voice I've ever heard in my life. This is a hearkening back to, like, Bella Abzug. Uh, <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, her... Is this it? Well, what, Crank what, her up. Yeah, what are we looking for here? How they are. How, in the best of all possible ways, crazy they are. How much they love nope. New York. The same and her. How hard they fight. Find the dikey sure woman. Is every- Who is she? It ain't her then. It ain't Christine Quinn. Mm, what so- the fuck is it? It was some, and she's yelling like, like, and I'm going to go through every single borough. I'm gonna be walking with you. It was terrible. Walking with us. Shut up. That old gag. Can't be her. She's a. She's a, like a lesbian or something. That's what they said. Mm. What happened? She might be a lipstick. Lesbian. I think. I think they said she'd be the first uh, gay, gay New York mayor. So I think you're right. She. It's her. Well, she didn't sound like that. Uh, Maybe when she's talking out of doors and not in front of a camera on. She has to raise the voice a little yeah, bit. Yeah, put yeah, that yeah. Goofy music well, on. The, is that. this it? Yeah, maybe. All right. Ah, God damn it! Stupid fucking internet. You think? And the guy that tries to search for things. <laughs> Will she bring back the big soda? We look like assholes to the rest of the country. We look, but now, like, we look assholes, like idiots man. here. Yeah, but the, supposedly those Seven Eleven still can sell a big gulp, and yeah. Seven Elevens in New York City right. are still. I don't know. They're exempt from that because they're I don't know under, exactly they why. They fall under state law. Yeah, so you could still go into Seven yeah. Eleven in New York City and get a thirty-two ounce. So that's big where gulp. all the people are going to go. Oh, that's so dumb. Yeah, Iraq comment. How does this shit get passed? There's some articles after we talked about it on Friday that oh. Starbucks is not going to follow the ban. Yeah, Starbucks said, fuck it, they're going to wait and see what happens in court. Um, there's a $200 fine for every occurrence. Can you believe you can be fined $200 in New York City for serving someone coffee? It, 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 it does, it's ludicrous. It also applies to pizza delivery. You can't order a two-liter with the pizza now. That That is so fucking, this billionaire cunt Don't, affecting people's he businesses. He doesn't understand he how... It be, he doesn't understand. You you order the soda for the the, the fucking people sharing the fucking pizza right. usually. But meanwhile, sure you're gonna get a guy that eats a whole pizza and drinks all the soda himself, but not. So now the, you got to order a, a bunch of different cans. Then I guess probably get, yeah. cans or that one liter that they. But make. he sponsors the Nathan event every year, which right. is, just does nothing but fucking promote gluttony. Right. It, 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 there's so many hypocrisies in this uh, this stupid shit. legislation. 
There's, you shouldn't legislate fucking people drinking soda or coffee. It, it, that's it. The government should not be in your life so much as you can't buy a cup of fucking coffee the way you want it made. I thought this was the land of the free. Oh, please. <laughs> free shmi. We are not fucking free. Not even close. Get a grip. They're now we telling us how much soda we can drink in America. How ridiculous We're is that? We're free here to do anything we want. Are we? Yay! What a free nation that we... And then you get a fat fucking cunt, <laughs> effeminate prick like that mayor telling you you can't get a large coffee sweet. I want my coffee light and sweet. No! What happened to light and sweet? Light and sweet is now fucking, you know, the scourge right. of Manhattan. Right. I do like the calorie counts on things, though. Yeah, that informing people, people, make people is one thing. Informing is fine. Then yeah. you make the decision. I was surprised by half that shit when I started Me seeing too. calories on the menu. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, 500 for a fucking low-fat muffin? Right. Jesus. And then you get the other mayors in other cities like, well, I, I think, you know, I want to do this. And they... Do it, and then they take it a little further, you know, to be the, the the next mayor that does something. That's how we lose our fucking freedoms by letting them get away with shit like this in the first place. Just ignore it. These, I like the fact that Starbucks is just going to ignore it. Just ignore it. Are they really going to ignore it, E Rock? That's yeah, what there was a thing on NBC because um, New York City loves giving that. out tickets and making money. So trust me, they'll they'll be out in force. Oh yeah, you know. Oh, gi- of course, giving out those two hundred dollar tickets that Ant was talking about. See, it doesn't really bother me because I don't drink that much. I don't drink I don't soda. I don't, I don't drink, drink any big coffee. So, but the one that bothered me when they did is what happy hours when they got rid of happy hours because oh, right. they promoted drinking and driving. Right? Yeah. Did they? Yeah, yeah. They did that a long time ago. They were like, you can't have you know a happy hour from four to six. It had to be something. They used to give away like free beer. Like it was five it was bucks great. to get in. It was free to drinks from like four to six. Yeah. Nickel beers. Yeah, nickel beers. <laughs> I loved right. nickel was, beers. <laughs> used to go out with like ten bucks and get wings oh, and fucking, a shitload of beer. By the bar. Holy fuck. There was clubs in Jersey that like from eight to ten, it'd be free drinks. It was ten bucks to get in. Free drinks from eight to ten. My so God. like nine fifty five. You go, let me, can they have a uh, 40 Bacardi yeah. Cokes? Because <laughs> yeah. they give me those little plastic cups. Yeah, you just yeah, line yeah. them up and just hand them the chicks. Hey, you want a drink here? <laughs> After that, it was kind of insane. It's great, but it's fucking, yeah. Would you go to those? Of course, oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, they were like dance clubs. They were awful. Yep. They play, you know. But I didn't care. It was free drinks, and you get chicks hammered. You had to pay for their drinks. And then didn't they do away with ladies' night too? Like they had ladies' night, it's and then they said that night. that was a problem because it, you know, Ooh. discrimination. Because you'd go to a bar that had ladies' night, and it was just all fucking why, why, girls. Why was it discrimination? Free? What asshole got, got involved no with men's night? Who the fuck started that shit? Shit. A fucking Homer. I'm <laughs> sure a queeb. A quay? A quay. <laughs> who Enough. Would, who would bitch about ladies' night? So much good shit goes to the wayside because of <laughs> fucking assholes. Just assholes. Fuck up all the fun. That's that's sad. I used to love that. Yeah, ladies' nights were fun. You always you used to find out where the ladies' night was. Ladies. Oh, really? Yeah, you go to a fucking ladies' night. They're all hammered, drinking for free. Or they, they used to have the uh, male, the Chippendale dancers. That, oh god! So they'd open the doors like ten to the men, so you'd have to get there right from the right at ten o'clock. Right, right. So you were fresh meat, so you can get the one that's all horned yeah, up. Right yeah, away. they're all juiced up. Yeah, you don't, don't want to get yeah. there later. Get no, them, you had to get there right there at the proper no. time. You don't want to be there like after where there's only the fat broads left. Yeah, we'd be waiting online, you know, waiting for the door to open. We'd be like third in line, like get him running, nice. run in there, all right? <laughs> it was like a was shock in my day. One of those <laughs> shopping <laughs> sprees. Yeah, yeah. Run in. like you're going for a wedding all dress. Right. <laughs> it was like fucking Black Friday. Right. As soon as they opened the doors. <laughs> oh, uh, Sam, you have that clip of uh, Christine yeah, let's, Quinn let's take announcing a uh, for uh, New York City. Yeah, Christine uh, Quinn is officially running for mayor. The middle for her. class is squeezed in New York, but I know I'm the best person working with all of New York's 8.4 million people to make this happen. Thank you. The 46-year-old city council speaker is taking her message on a walk and talk tour throughout Yuck. the five boroughs. I need to go out there today and every day and prove to New Yorkers that I can be the best person to work with them. Her first stop was in Inwood, where she was asked about Mayor Bloomberg's controversial move to get a third term. But the term limits decision was a decision that I made with many of my colleagues at a moment in time when we were facing the worst economic crisis this city had seen since the Great Depression. Oh. In Inwood, Monica Miller, WCBS. Oh, she's fucking saying that she, she was fought for she, it? She allowed him to do yeah. it. Oh, oh, the worst economic crisis. How about after 9-11 when uh, everybody wanted Julie Right, to exactly. perhaps extend a uh, third term to his mayor, and uh, uh, Bloomberg came out against that. Right. Fuck Bloomberg. 
Well, the soda Not man. for him. That should be fun starting tomorrow. C- completely ridiculous. I should start fucking shipping some shit in from Long Island. Smuggling. That's what right. About a little smuggling ring of fucking... Uh, Let's do it. Some soda. What do you want, man? Two liter Coke? Sprite? What? I got it. What do you need, man? I got Davis um, here. Oh, yeah. All right. We should break before that. What, what were we going to say? I'll say thank God Dice doesn't live in the city because he, he's Mr. Big Gulp. Oh, he, loves he gets the 44 ounces. Well, the Big Gulp is legal. Remember the first time we met Dice? He took us to 7-Eleven. He took and us got to 7-Eleven and we gulps. got sodas. He loves buying people things. I he think does. of him every time I drive by that 7-Eleven, yeah. which I do but all the time. But he demands you, that he buys you something you'll never use. Yeah. That's That always frustrates me. You don't wear me. the Everlast uh, hoodie that he bought us that were 20 sizes too big? He, he gave uh, me and Aunt uh, big black hoodies. And I'm like, actually, it was a really nice hoodie. I'm like, cool. At the time, I was like a, a medium, now probably a large. But Dice goes, no, you got to get triple XL. You got to get them so, big. These, the, the, we look like retards wearing yeah. these things. I never wore it. He loves buying and it. And there was a large or yeah. medium right there that I would have absolutely walked around with for a while. No, he loves buying like 3X. Oh, yeah. Triple but why X, do we everything. have to buy it? Because that's, that's, that's dice. Thing. you got to look, 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 look like dice. Cut off the sleeves. Yeah, yeah. He's negotiating with the guy. Oh, of course. So oh, he, he gets to the point yeah. where he'll go into a mall and he'll go in there and you know, like the sweats are like 20 bucks. He's like, he's like, can you give them to me for 10 And the guy's like, I can't dice. I give you my employee discount. He's like, oh, come on. They'll be bargaining for like an hour. He goes, let me come back. And then I'll go back. I'll be like, this is great, isn't it? And I'm like, just pay the price. What's yeah. What the what do we do? F- so then he comes back. An hour later, he is on his knees Please, give him a ten. Please. He has, he does, it's the worst thing you can say is, hey, I'm a big fan, because in his mind it goes, cha-ching. Yeah, yeah, Load yeah. Load up, boys. I know He's that fucking, guy, yeah. that guy's actually paying for it in the end. He's on his knees in a store, and everyone's like, that's Dice Clay. He's like, please give it to me for ten, please. Oh he walks around, and he'll, he'll shop at a fortune off like he's at a Bangladeshi fucking marketplace. It's, they don't, they don't bargain. Yeah. At, the, at those places. Give me no, the pro deal. Give me the pro deal. Yeah, what's, what's the, the pro, pro deal? deal? What's that? We don't have a pro There's deal. There's no such Everyone's thing. Everyone's got a pro deal. Give me the pro deal. He made it up. <laughs> he made it up. <laughs> he made it up because he wants shit for free. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to break? Yeah, we'll break uh, and we get, uh, we'll get David Lee Roth in here next. Uh, Mr. Jim Florentine on Twitter. <laughs> Rob, bitch. 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 Rob,